Hello, my name is Juan Sebastian Lozano, and I was advised on this project by Paul Goldsmith Pinkham. The main motivation for this research starts as a response to a bit of a paradox. Political processes can be fruitfully modeled by game theory, where rational actors use equilibrium strategies to maximize their payoffs. Those strategies often match the behavior that we observe in the real world. However, people who participate in politics don't start off out with a perfect strategy or even full knowledge of the political process. Instead, they respond to rewards and punishments as they learn over time to maximize their payoffs. In my project, I study how to reconcile the process of learning, responding to incentives over time, with the standard game theory approach of voting games, using machine learning techniques in a developing field known as reinforcement learning. Reinforcement learning, or RL, is a set of machine learning techniques where an agent starts out with a random policy and plays a game over and over, improving their strategy over time based on their previous performance. Starting in the 1990s when RL was first developed, economists realized the connection between games and reinforcement learning, and matched RL predictions to lab experiments of humans playing games. Computationally simple techniques where the policy functions were broken down analytically were used to successfully create predictions of human behavior in laboratory conditions. In the past half decade, there, have been, there has been an explosion in RL research and industry, including DeepMind famously beating a human at Go. These new techniques provide a rich tool set for using RL to simulate learning under the conditions of various political games. Our first goal is to see if simulated voting agents learn the same strategies predicted by the rich body of game theory literature on voting. There are several challenges and opportunities in answering this first question. Voting games are challenging because the games are multidimensional, with many agents who can have different behavior based on if they are a politician or a voter, whether they're willing to employ, employ violence or they remain peaceful, among other factors. There's also an opportunity to create an open source environment for RL research in political game theory, like has been done for RL research in contexts like chess, Atari, and Go. Once simulation matches theory, we can ideally use these techniques to learn new things about voting behavior under political violence by potentially studying variations on existing games that have not yet been solved analytically. Based on previous literature, we expect learning agents to match the equilibria strategies predicted in voting games under certain conditions. Since we use a very flexible framework for game environments, we can also hope to be able to learn about closer to life scenarios by allowing for relaxed assumptions which would make analytic solutions to games very difficult. Our first game that we look at is a classic. We is the median voter theorem. We take two politicians who prefer extreme policies on opposite sides of a simple political spectrum. Voters are between politicians and their policy preferences. The politicians announce their platforms and voters vote. Voters are rewarded by the difference between their ideal policy and the policy of the winner. The result is the median voter is pivotal, meaning the politician who is closest to the median voter wins. In our case here, we can see that the yellow politician is closest to the median voter and they win with a 54% of the vote. Our ultimate goal is, is, the, is a game of electoral competition with political violence from Leonard Botanichek and Matthew Elman in this 2000 QJE paper. In this game, there's a simple election where one politician has an outside group that will commit violence if the winning policy is unsatisfactory to them. The equilibrium outcome of this game is the peaceful politician wins but must change their policy to one satisfactory to the violent group specifically the reservation policy of the violent politician. Key to this analytic result is the assumption that violence is extremely costly to all of those involved, which is cor a correct approximation of events that involve large-scale political violence, such as that in Kenya in 2008. Ideally, we will be able to relax this assumption through simulation in order to more closely approximate levels of concentrated or low-level electoral violence. So far, we have results for an agent learning in the median voter theorem case, where the agent was successfully able to replicate the strategic behavior of voters and reproduce the median voter theorem. We can see here the random voting behavior of agents who have not yet learned to maximize their payoffs. All of the information that is visible to each voter, each voter is their own internal policy preferences and the policy positions of the two politicians. The voters then use the reward from the first run of the game to optimize their policy function. After many, many runs, eventually the voters converge on a policy function where they choose the candidate with the platform closest to their own and the median voter is pivotal. The next steps of the project are to run simulations for the game of electoral competition under threats of political violence. Thank you very much for your attention. And here are our sources.